what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Let's find out. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another live stream. Quick shout out to my Patreons down below supporting the live streams. We've got Dan and Nicole's Treasures Untold, Joe Sheevy, Trace Living Good, Samantha Chang, Rodney Torres, and Retroholic 16. We're diving back into this new NES game. This is a brand new game. It came out 2022. It is called Full Quiet. I got the uh, complete in box copy here. And you can definitely check this out at all sorts of conventions. They were at PAX East. Um, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably be at like too many games in Portland as well. But this one came out Retrotainment. The guys who brought you Haunted Halloween 85 and 86 has developed this game. They also did the Garbage Pail Kids game, too. They had a, a hand in that. But this is a adventure-style game. I think we streamed it twice before. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit um, further in it. I did talk to the guys at PAX and try to get some tips and tricks on what I'm doing in this game because I got stuck. So hopefully we can get a little bit further in this game here. Full quiet. And it's got a great soundtrack, too. Who we got here? Ferrico Pictures. Hey, Russ, what's going on? And Tony's here. And D-Nick is in the house. Joe Sheevy himself. Joe, I am currently exporting thousands of games to your SNES Classic. I, I found a way to hook mine up and export it, but it's literally going to take a few hours. So that's running in the background, and we're trying to get that situated. So this way you can have all the all the good stuff. Um, I guess we'll go. We'll start with this one here. I don't know if you guys ever seen this game before, seen me play it before, but feel free to ask questions in the chat. Um, it does make use of. You got a jump button. You can shoot, and if you hit start, you get this little roll, which is pretty cool. If you hit down twice, you're locked in this position, and you can kind of, kind of aim in eight di eight directions there. Um, so I did talk to the guys about maybe going this way, okay? These things, so you try to shoot them down, and they take forever to get rid of. And then these things are, like, getting you. And they end up losing all this health, because they keep coming. Those things keep coming. Um, I forget if I have dynamite or not. Let's see, how do I, I forgot how to, there we go, uh, no. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's our weapons. I do have a shotgun. And like an Uzi. What is this guy? Scope. Cloaking device. A satchel. So I could hold more ammunition. Rope. A med kit. Okay, I thought I had dynamite, but he said you would get dynamite eventually. All right, let's, let's get out of here and try to go a different way. I need my health back now, so you can get some health going into... Oh, I'm not tired. What do you mean, not tired? <laughs> can I get some supplies? Let's see. I have three of these. So, the thing below. So, like, if I fix this, I'll get ammunition for my gun. For my Uzi. And looks like I need five of these, but I only have three. So I can't do that. It won't let me save. It's, or sleep, rather. Okay. Do get a map. Where to go? Where to go? There's a little traps right there. They'll pull you out from under you. I'll go through one so you can see it. So you'll walk like this. Oh, it probably won't see me. Oh, there it is. So it comes down. Comes down at you. I right, gotta watch out for this. Because you hit it, you're gonna get thrown back. Shoot this thing down. Okay. And we can go in this cave. So this I get a little cloaking device. 
If I hold down, that's my cloak. Okay? So you can hide, and then this guy comes out. Because he doesn't see you. And from all I can tell, so he changes certain colors, so this has to be some type of code in the game. I believe I wrote this down somewhere. I have the manual. It does come with a nice manual. And I think I wrote this color sequence down. I know I wrote it down somewhere. Maybe it wasn't in the manual. Let's see. Flipping through. No, I might have put it somewhere else then. Great. <laughs> what book did I put it in? Could have been another sticky note. Well, I guess we'll write it down again, okay? Because then he see he, he runs away. The old fashioned here, taking notes while you're playing, playing video games. All right, hold down. He's gonna pop out. So he does start purple. Yellow, red. All right, yellow, red, yellow, red, purple, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, red, purple, <laughs> black, red, black. See if that's right. I don't know. Let's see. All right. I don't know if purple is the first one, but okay. Yellow, red, yellow, red, purple, black. I don't know if these black ones count. Possibly purple there. This is probably all, this is probably all wrong. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know where I would use this, but that is a code there. Let's see, I was messing with my Play Choice 10 PCB. First, I couldn't get it to work after a day. This morning, got it to work. Now, the other problem is no buttons work. Not sure if you saw the post on Facebook. Oh, I didn't see. Wh where did you post it on Facebook? Was it just on your page or something? It definitely could be a loose connection with the board stuff. And then, obviously, a loose connection with the um, wires that go to the buttons. The buttons could be getting stuck. Could be a few things. Um, I haven't gotten anywhere with my Play Choice 10. I ordered some special solution that you're supposed to spray it down on your control panel and then on the decal that I ordered on that and then lay down the decal and it's supposed to go down better or smoother. So that's the next thing I do. I have all, all my buttons are out and joysticks and everything. So the, the main thing is gonna be fixing that control panel. Then I can move on to um, trying to think what I would do after that. What the next step would be. Possibly painting the sides. Because once I paint the sides, I can I could put my T-molding on. And then I can also put my new side graphics on. I did buy, like, capacitors and stuff for it. But I'm not 100% sure if I feel comfortable replacing all those. It's for, like, the monitors and stuff. Oh, we're about to die. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's get some energy bar. Oh, okay, nice. Now we'll check it out. Yeah, I have so many projects open. I'm trying to stay organized best I can with all my projects. I have a PlayStation 1 system I'm finishing up for a friend. It's all done. I just need to finish filming some parts for the video. And then I'm going to ship that out to him. I'm working on making... I got to do about um, eight more custom Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Tiger handheld systems. So I'm trying to work that out. I'm modding Joe Sheevy's SNES Classic with some games. So I need to finish that up. And then also just editing random videos. I got to edit podcasts. We're recording the podcast tonight. So I'll have to edit that. 
So you could go under here. Oh, there we go. Look. Energy bar. There was an area where you were able to go in and out pretty quickly and get a uh, energy bar. It might be this next one. Shoot it up. I do have the better guns, but I don't feel like wasting the bullets on it. Let's see. Is it over here? There you go. So I think you could just keep coming in here and getting the energy bar. You can only get so many. Let's see. All right. That gives me full health right there. Also, I was asking them, because this isn't anywhere in the um, the manual. The um, If you look at the bottom uh, right of the screen, there's that little dot. So when you roll, that goes th dimmer and dimmer. So that's like the, the cool down button. So it has to be full again. So that's boom. I can only do two quick ones like that, and then it's ready again. You gotta wait for it to come back up. I was like, oh, it doesn't explain that anywhere in the manual. <laughs> So I'm like, is this something I should be looking for? Delusional Arcade, what is up? Hey, we, hey, we're talking about arcades. We were talking about our Play Choice 10 system. It's been a minute since I uh, since I worked on it, but should be some videos coming coming that way. All right, what do we got? We got six. Oh, it's cool that it works on an LCD monitor. Nice, yeah, so you can switch it out and it would be a lot lighter. Like mine's got the dual monitors, the CRT ones. So heavy. All right, nothing over there. So I was talking to the guys at PAX about this game, and I think they were saying, like, this area is almost like the end of the game area. Like, there's a lot more in here to explore. But you, you basically come back to it. So here, we'll try to... I can make it to the swamp area, and then I think there's another area, too. Oh, well, we got a new subscriber. Paula K12. Thanks for subscription. Let's go. We're on our road to 50k subscribers. We're at 42,000. Doing pretty good. A lot of my YouTube shorts basically is uh, getting me all my subscribers. All right, so you're in tall grass here, so you can, if you hold down, you can hide from the enemies. Just when you're in the tall grass. And then I don't know what these things are. Like deadly leaves that fall from the sky. So they they could still get me with that thing. This guy won't see me. jump over it oh god there we go and i don't know if that's a place you could get to in the background pretty cool little like plateau area dive under these and this does this game does have a um a time cycle so there's like morning night afternoon and stuff See, there you go. So now it changes now. This is more of a night cycle. And it's a smooth transition. No, uh, you know, horrible night for a curse situation like in Simon's Quest. It's 
so if I'm like this, that guy won't get me. Okay, I gotta watch out for this. Can go under and jump over? Yep. Duck! Oh. Shoot it up! that. I think I, I think I was here before. Let's see. If I hide, nothing comes out. I think I... Whatever was here, I think I already got it. Let me know if you need help or tips for... Oh, for the uh, play choice? Fantastic. So far, my play choice tan lives on the carpet. Oh, you gotta build a little cabinet for it to sit up on. Yeah, mine's in the basement at my mom's, and it, like, just reaches it there. It's like, oh, my God, we might not be able to get this in there. So you got a little bit darker. All right, so so let's see. Where's our map? So that. So whatever. I think I got. Did I get the satchel there? Get a turbo controller, be all set, right? Oh. Go, go. Alright, so basically our goal, too, is to get to the next cabin. This is where I can sleep and save and regain health. Reevaluate where I gotta go. Oh, shoot, I got the warning over my head. I think at nighttime, like, the Sasquatch guy comes out after you. So you gotta be on the move. There's definitely a lot to this game. They put a lot into it. And I put, I put some good hours into it, and I just haven't been able to beat it or progress much further. I definitely would love to be able to beat it. And there's not many playthroughs of it on YouTube. If you search for this game on YouTube, there's only a few videos of people talking about it. A couple of my live streams, and I did a, a quick review as well. Oh, better get a energy bar. Here, I'll switch. I'll switch guns. I'll get the shotgun. I was like, what happened? I don't even know what happened. See, that's what happens at night. Look at that beast. <laughs> Just like that, you're dead. Bloody Bones, what's up? Welcome. I was watching your new Wednesday warp pipe and didn't notice you were live. Oh, nice. You're catching up on the, the warp pipe Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be recording tonight a uh, new episode. We always record after the live streams. We're talking Super Nintendo versus Sega Genesis. So if you guys wanted to weigh in on the topic, head over to the Weekly Warp Pipes YouTube channel, and you can see the community tab, and I posted it in there. You can leave a comment. Um, Let's see. How do I get... Okay, we're there. could try to go this way more it's such a pain shotgun I get six bullets with it so you can go like this boom so once it's gone if I leave the screen it, it, it should stay there 
So, what I was doing is coming back, getting supplies. Okay, I should have six bullets again, and then basically go and shoot the next one and make your way across. So the next one comes up right here. Boom, 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 and boom. And then make your way back. <laughs> it's the only tactic I eh? <laughs> feel like works. Go get more bullets. Thank you. The only thing I wish you could do, you could save it and then they'll be gone. But they only stay for, you know, a, a day cycle or whatever. So once you go through the cycle, they'll come back up. All right, so we made it through here. All right, we are there. Oh, we could try this way. Oh, and this thing got a laser thing, too. Are you kidding me? jump over it here. Perfect. I think this is where I got the satchel from. Look, there's a... Oh, God. Okay, shoot this baby down. Okay. Could go up here. I could put my scope here. I could see some something happen in there. So you kind of look around and see if you see any clues. Like what is that? It looks like a switch or something. I wish I didn't remember where I wrote these. d back. I'm back. What's on the podcast this week? Sega versus Super Nintendo. So we're going to do like, you know, what games we preferred or when it had double games like Hyperstone Heist and, and um, Turtles in Time, like which ones we like better. Maybe marketing, like what commercials were cooler. Kind of talk about that, um, which ones we had growing up. So Sega versus Super Nintendo. We're gonna most people it, it was a viewer comment. Most people were like, any you know, Nintendo versus Sega. And I'm like, they mostly pit NES to Sega, which isn't correct because NES is 8 bit, Sega's 16, so really should be NES versus Master System, but no one ever does that. I had the code for this somewhere. And I don't know where did how did I lose the book is it in i have some books down here oh here's one i opened up to door code it was like this 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 that was it i only have three on it oh i say did it work nope Start, select, no. Nothing in this. Is there any more down here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think that's just that. I don't know what the point of this is. So you just come down here and you're like, okay, there's nothing here. 
Go back. I'm pretty sure I've I've been in there though. I got whatever was in there. Shoot it down. There's one more. Is that thing here? Yeah, the big, the big boy. All right, we gotta. I don't think I'm being able to get past this one. I only got one. I'm just, I'm just better off dying. to get back and remind myself not to go right when you get to that path. Rock and roll. Got the got the gun ready. Oh, come on. could use the Uzi. You get a whole bunch of that. I don't know how effective it is. Alright, we could go up. Oh. It's not as good. Not as good as a shotgun. See, and these things keep coming. Okay. Get some energy. Ugh. Look how fast these are. Are you kidding me? Oh, look, another one coming from that side? Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. Shoot it down. So I can at least jump over it before I run out of health. Kidding me, another one. All right, not as bad, not as bad. I can shoot it from here. Done. Get the last energy bar. Perfect. Oh, again with these. Don't want to touch them. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think we were... You can look up. Look, there it is. How do you get that? Without it, it's like perfectly... I'm right, gonna have to use the med kit. Further back. Now it's off screen. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Get in the cave. The mountain. Oh, I don't know if I could go this far yet. Well, we'll see. Let's climb down. 
Are those... Okay, I thought those were blocking my path. Your Jackal PCB has a bad ROM. Gotta get my EEPROMP reader out and fix that problem. Nice, yeah, I don't know how to use any of those there. Gotta get Jackal working again. Okay, I can hang up on there. I do maybe have to do a live stream of uh, Jackal the Arcade one day. We played it a little bit on the last stream. I never fully played through the game. So you could hang on ledges if you hit up and then climb up like that. So it's pretty handy. Do, do. Oh, missed it. Now the music's kicking in. Mm. Mm. So this must have either I already activated it or All right, nothing's up here. I must have got whatever was here. You probably need dynamite to maybe like blow some of that stuff up. All right, so nothing this way either. Picked up a copy of Jackal after saw your live stream. Nice. Yeah, dude, it's fun. Two players where it's at for sure. Definitely a good time on that game. And I wish they made a sequel to it, but they. They never did. Closest thing, I did live stream something called Firepower 2000 on the Super Nintendo, where you get a tank and you get a helicopter as player two. Not nearly as fun, though. Side note, Tony, my my check engine light came on on the M car. I'm like, oh. So I'm like, great. I don't know what it is. I haven't brought it anywhere to, like, get the code read. I was like, I gotta message Tony. See what he says. Okay, so going this way, we already did. Okay. Now, see, I don't know if I'll be able to get back again. That's the issue with uh, these things coming up and having limited bullets. What do we got? What do we got coming up? Nothing up top. Oh, big one. This is where I need more, more shotgun bullets. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> And we're dead. Over and out. That's why it doesn't... Alright, I wonder... I'm trying to remember how to get to the... Uh, to the swamp. I might be better off in the swamp area. Might be this way. Might be able to get there this way. Just make a mad dash for it. It's Alex. Alex saying, "Happy Wednesday, Mr. Lyman." Hey, same to you. Same to you. You're making your own jackal, and I also made my own. Zelen Sky of Zelda game. I sold 200 some copies of. Oh yeah, it's so like a almost like a ROM hack ish. Is it based on Zelda One? I've seen a few, uh, you know, ROM hack style games like that.
Yeah, I'm hoping it's nothing crazy. I'm like, I just got the M cart back in action. And I'm trying to get it to a few shows. Where am I? I don't think it's this way. I think it's this way. I keep going right. Shoot that gorilla. Oh, I don't want to go in the cave. Stop going in the cave. <laughs> What is he saying? I find it interesting. Coincidence that someone I know got a new car on the same day you uploaded the car mod video. Yeah, I mean, I, I did that mod uh, quite a bit ago. I just haven't had time to edit the video. And I was like, let me get... The, I have a bunch of videos in the queue. Let me get this one out. And I was able to get some nice drone shots and B-roll for it. So... Uh, I'm trying to think if I had any other car mod videos. I don't think I do for right now. I have the PlayStation um, custom system. I did Mega Man Legends 2 themed. And what else is in the works? I'm trying to remember. I know I had a few things. Also, I'm kind of upset I ordered uh, the Hori, uh, like, game pads for the Switch that go on the Switch. They're, like, thicker. I ordered them on Amazon. They were supposed to come yesterday, and now it's, like, trouble with the shipping. And they might not come till tomorrow or something. Or it might not come at all, possibly. And I tried to see if GameStop had any, but you would have to order them. And then I'd have to pay for shipping. So I'm like, oh, I want to use these because I was, you know, playing Switch in the bed and my hands were like cramping up because I haven't played uh, Tears of the Kingdom in like two weeks. I have been playing God of War on PS5. So that's slow going. All right, field. We were here before, but I'll take a different path and we should end up at the swamps. Adam's Game Room. What's up? Yeah, it's a pretty cool game for sure. It's on the NES. Um, pretty ambitious. They got a day-night cycle. It's a big, almost like open-world-ish game. It's a little hard to read the map. I guess you just keep... So if I keep going right, I'm technically going up on the map. I'll have to do a snack once I get to the save thing. Let's get a little roll action. Just gotta watch out for these things from the sky here. Uh, let's see, what is this? Is this the save? What's in here? Yes. So here's your bed. Hit save. We are now in the field. With that, let's grab a uh, snack. Snacky snack time. Got a classic. Told the wife to pick these up. Teddy Grahams. The honey ones. These are the uh, the classic ones they do have on the side there where they got some uh, cocoa ones, which are, are the chocolate uh, chocolate chip, which I never had, and cinnamon. A little Teddy Grahams adventure right there. <laughs> Can you finish the comic? Encourage your child to act out or draw how this comic book story ends using the teddy pieces from the box as inspiration.
This is a pretty good gaming snack since it doesn't get your hands all messy. This guy's missing a foot. The Nitro deck for the Switch. Is that the thing that makes the screen bigger? That attaches to it? Going to be released soon. Going to make the Switch have more of a Steam Deck feel and look to it. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have a, a Steam Deck at all. Um, it certainly looks awesome, the Steam Deck. But I can't justify spending that much on another system where I just bought the PS5. And that was like $500. <laughs> This is old radio. So it's to see if you hear Morris code. I think I already already put it in and heard it. Just turn in the dial. Nothing. Let's see there's more stuff below. So this gets tricky, you can climb on these. I'm terrible at it. You gotta swing, basically. There you go, and then... There you go, and then dive under here. Then put that down, so you can go here to climb down. Alright, so... These are, so see how there's a check mark on that one? I guess you can unlock the other one by colors. So it could be what we wrote down. I guess there is no purple though. Yellow, red, blue. Okay, so mm -hmm. clear it out. So we got yellow. Okay, so maybe it went red, yellow, red, blue, red, blue. Shoot, probably didn't write that down good. Teddy Grahams reminds me of half days in elementary school. That's very specific. <laughs> nice. Let's see. No, they are Joy-Cons, but they are attached together. Interesting. Joy-Cons. Yeah, I'll have to look, I'll have to look it up and see what it see what it is. The ones I want to get are the the hoary ones. Let me see if uh, see if they were delivered or not. Probably not. Expected June fourteenth, June sixteenth. So these are the. Focus on that. So that's what I was hoping to get in. So it's a little more, you know, wider grip. And you get the D-pad and all that. So I went with the, uh, it's like a translucent black, essentially. Oh, nice. Drop the link in. Nitro. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does. Okay, I see what you're saying. And then you drop it in there. Interesting. How much is that going to run? Let's 
Yeah, so I don't think I got the colors right on this one here. Where was that? I did have a book. And did I write something down with this one? Now just uh, see a, a Morris code thing. This space line line this line. Nope. And I don't know what the colors colors would be. It does have a it does have a field right here. You guys probably won't be able to see that camera where you can you can write it in essentially, and it does have a, a code. And then color on the other side in the instruction manual. Okay, we well can't go that way. All right, we'll make our way out. This way. So I think that's where it brings me to the swamps. Down. Oh, gotta wait it out, wait it out. <laughs> Damage boost. It looks like he could go here, but he could. I guess I'd gone that way and there was nothing up there. And then that's a short, short lived one. Oh yeah, it's like lasers and stuff over here. See that? <laughs> go, 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 go. Shoot this down. I think we're right there. We're at the swamps. 60 bucks? Oh, that's not bad. That's basically what that thing I got was. How many attachments I need for the switch? Oh. <laughs> in the swamps. Now, I haven't beaten this area. There's certainly a lot of monsters in here. Just try to keep it moving. Get the roll. And those guys can like steal stuff from you too when you run into them. Definitely like creepy music. Waiting for Swamp Thing to pop, pop out. All right, we could go down here. Let's check the. So this is where the save thing is. So we'll get there first. I think I just keep going. I just keep going. Choo, choo. J-Rib, what's up? This game visually looks... I know it, dude. They did a great job with this, for sure. Right, I'm sleeping. I rested up. Let's get a save. We're now in the swamp. 
supplies. Okay, and I still need I need to get two more of those things. Swamps of mess, all sorts of corrupt biomass in the water. Hissers can see skeeters. Can't. Just don't move. Avoid the giant scale creatures. Pap. Oh, see, this is for... I could put a rope here, but I could only put a rope there coming from this direction. So I can't get over there yet. Once I put the rope down, I'll be able to climb back up and then go across. But... And then let's check this. I put a fuse in. So we can use the radio. And now we'll see if we can find any Morse code, which, there it is. Go back, there it is. All right, what do we got? Dot slash, dot slash, hyphen slash, dot slash, hyphen slash dot slash again and then one two three dot dot slash hyphen slash dot slash. Did, did, did. okay do I have this already down swamp nope so dot Hyphen. Okay. <laughs> so it's all about Morris code in this game. If you um, if you guys check the, this is the manual, and on the manual it has Morris code on it, and then this is the box for the game. So right up here. That's Morse code. I, I guess it would say full quiet, but this is a variant uh, cover. Not all the covers look like this. I backed it on Kickstarter, so I think I got this like a special cover, but and my cartridge is like a green. It, it doesn't look like uh, this cartridge here. It's just a regular gray. Mine's like a green translucent color. I would have put that here, but then it's over a green background, so it's like you can't really see it. Put my fan on over here. Ugh. Okay. Also, check out my uh, check out my NES controller I'm using here got the uh, Nintendo Power sticker and then I had these like replacement buttons you would get back in the day and I thought it fit really cool with that so that's usually my go-to controller my switch controller mimics this uh, decal that I have So here's my my switch controller. And then I did like the lightning on the back. And this is Nintendo Power. I did I did a full video on this. I got this all done at a site called decalgirl.com um, and basically just design you could design whatever sticker you want. So I want it to mimic that NES controller. Okay, let's go explore this swamp. All right, we're gonna head down here. It's in this cave, oh, again. Another one that I can't, unless there's a way to throw ropes up that I don't know about. Let's see, and I can't keep going that way. Okay, okay. So, we'll just have to keep going down the other way then. 
That's the jazz, bro. Is that a repro sticker? For that one is not. That one's an original one. But you can get repo stickers of those. But I had found that, you know, at a convention. Did I just go here? <laughs> it was in, like, you know, a pile of NES controllers. And I was like, oh, I'll go with this one. I don't know if right goes down or what. Let's see. Or if I'm going up. I'm going up. Let's reverse. All right. New, t new, t new ish territory. Oh my god, this takes a lot. Oh my god. I don't know if those are the ones I'm supposed to stay still with. Just keep it running. Okay. Two ways to go. Looks like some type of facility back there. Oh, energy bar. Oh, can I not take it? Do I have too many? I have six. There we go. Darn these things. So we're kind of making our way in. We're doing around and around. So we're getting closer. Oh my god, look at this guy. We need the shotgun. Let's go. Oh, like shot me back into the <laughs> the next stage. Go. Got him. Let's get some health. that okay keep it going a chance it could probably take one more hit ah <laughs> two energy bars. That was it on my uh, shotgun, so I hope, hope no more of those come out. I do have the, like, Uzi one. Just go. Take a mad dash for it. We're so close. Shoot. Oh, man. All right, let's get a full, full medic. I'm gonna get past this guy. Can I just, can I just go quick? No. No, oh, I can't, I can't even jump over him. You need the shotgun. Two hits and it gets it. The last line. So wish I could play this on my Steam Deck. It looks... Yeah, I'm surprised that it's got to be going to Steam for sure. Because they had a few other... They're the same guys that done Haunted Halloween 86, which is on Steam and Xbox and all that. So I imagine they're bringing it there. It's just, you know, having a um, NES release and keeping it there for a bit. See, if I stay still, he comes at me, and I can't shoot him fast enough. 
I can't get him. I can't get past this part. Are you kidding me? That's it. I don't have any more health. I right, got one more. And I don't have any more shotguns. The shotguns I need. And I don't have it. So freaking close. That's it. We're dead. Start back at the... Uh... So unless... So the... Uh, obviously, save whatever it is to shotgun blast for the end. Right? I got six. So we got saved two for the end, essentially, and maybe use the uh, the machine gun on the earlier versions of the, the beast. Right, is this the way? Yeah. Like they kind of look like a dinosaur. I don't know what they're supposed to be. They look like 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 tiny um, uh, brontosauruses for some reason. That's the vibe I'm getting. All right, keep it going. Oh, you know what? Will this still be? I think it will replenish. I don't know if it will replenish. I say I can take it. I can take it on the. Oh, why did I use that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> take it on the way back. There goes the full med kit. Lordy. Ah, oh, he's got me in here. So you could roll past them. Man, I wasted that freaking med. All right, let's get the. Uh... What? See, I can't even get him without it. Wow, he killed me quick. Maybe I'll have to use the, um, just the regular gun then. Gotta get past this part at least. This way I'll, I'll have made some progress in this. I haven't played this in probably like two or three months. So if we can get somewhere, that'd be great. Ah. Wonder what's up though. What's up what's up this way? More of this crap. Uh I guess this, this is probably the way you're supposed to go. Keep it going. Game Junction in the house. What's up? Welcome. We're playing this new NES game called Full Quiet. I'm trying to get a little further in it. Super ambitious for an NES title for sure. Alright, let's see if I can get him with this. Apparently not. I 
guess use the shotgun to get past this part. Maybe the other part's better. One, two. Two shots, so I only get I can kill three of them. Was there more than three? I guess we'll see. We'll count. Yeah, this one. Okay, so this has more. Now this one's going to come back, right? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Let's get the let's get the Uzi out then. Yes. Oh god. It took forever. Okay, I think we're good now. Ah. Right, let's get some health. Shotgun. Let's go. What? Why did that one take like five hits? And I think that's not even the one we were worried about. I think I goofed it up. I don't know why that one I had to be like point blank range, I guess. This is the one here, right? No. Yeah, it's past this. It's this one. And now I don't have any shotguns again. And it won't let me jump over them. There's no way to like glitch over them. Yep, it's coming to Steam. I'll snag it like I did the Garbage Pail Kids game, and that was fun. Nice. Yeah, and plus, way cheaper. I think I think Garbage Pail Kids was like five bucks on Steam. I think I paid like $80. Complete in box, though, but still, like, $80. <laughs> or $5 on Steam. I mean, it depends if you want that physical cart. Or if you just want to check out the game and play it. And support a good cause, five bucks, no brainer. Cheaper than a Starbucks coffee. All these dudes are out for blood. Yeah, so I'm trying to save the, the shotgun, but I don't know why that other one took like four hits with the shotgun. It's supposed to be two hits. And then they're toast. These freaking dinosaur things. <laughs> or I need something to have, uh, hold more bullets so then I can get like eight shotguns. That'd be great. say maybe I just need to be closer oh god so that leaves me with one. Oh, you know what I think that was the one I was supposed to use the machine gun on because it's such a longer draw thing there. Monterese, what is up? Welcome. Long time no chat. Thanks for coming out for the stream. I'm trying out this new NES game. It's a pain in my butt. See, this one, I'm not going to have enough. I gotta start over. 
It's kill him with the shotgun, Uzi, shotgun this guy, and then shotgun the next one. Game Junction's at work. Just wanted to pop in and say hello. Have a good stream. Hey, much appreciated. Thanks so much. Hey, if you got a hot second, head over to Weekly Warp Pipes uh, YouTube page and leave a comment on the community page. We're talking Super Nintendo versus SNES. No, that's the same thing. Super Nintendo versus Sega for this week's topic. We're recording tonight after the ice stream. So if you write in a comment, we'll read it over the podcast. And they'll air this Saturday. Maybe we'll end up, uh, maybe I'll try going up on the other thing there and see, see where that gets me. Maybe there's like a satchel or something so you can hold more shotgun shells. That I don't know. So we'll try that after this one here. Come on. Okay, shotgun this guy. Uzi. Got him. Now, hopefully, the other one goes down in two shots. I'll have to do two shots because it stinks if you get knocked off screen, your hits reset. So then it's like it doesn't count. So if I use two shotgun and then try to switch and then he knocks me off, then it's like, ugh. Just wasted the shotguns. All right, here we go. Please be two. Why would it be different? Why would this guy be different? Perfect. That's what I like to see. Put that on just in case. Don't want to hit it by accident. Roll out of here. Okay, let's get some health. Get my shotgun and let's do this. No! <laughs> oh, he's good. He's done. Once you shoot him, he's done. Thank God. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I ran out. I hope there's no more. Oh, okay. Look, look that oh look it's, it's hard to tell okay so it looks like dot on the top dot here dot here here almost like the flux capacitor that's a little clue on the tree right there Okay, so here, and then it's space here and here. Nice. Let's go open it up. What was that? It looked like a stomach. <laughs> what is it? Let's see. A flash drive. Okay. What's this say? Oh, I don't know the code for this. What is this? arc is it the same thing oh one of these oh here we go here's our this 
space. All right. Mm -hmm. This slash this down, down, down. Nice. All right, we got that in. Let's get some coins for any of this. <laughs> we did some good to get the coins going. Rusty, what's with them new sensors over there? Fierce claims they need it to be taller so that the Wingos do not trip them accidentally. All his tinkering just makes my life harder. Next time he needs hisser skins, he can get them himself. Quit your belly aching, old timer. You're starting to sound like Doc. No, no, I ain't unreasonable. That's the debatable. Okay, and then you can go down here. All right, what do we got in the caves here? Is this going to loop around? I better cure just in case. going to end up dying and be like, no. So there's that rope. Oh, I don't have any rope on me. Look. Rope. Zero. I'd be able to climb down from there. But I got no rope. And then I'd be able to climb back up and go over here. Which would save me a lot of time. Oh, here's some colors. Here we go. Red. Blue. Red. 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 Blue. Red. What the heck was it now? Red. Blue. Red. Red. They're tricky here with their... With their stuff. So where is that? Uh, down here? Is it down here? No. Red, blue, red, red. Nice! I don't know what that did, but <laughs> that opened something. See, now it shut off. See, the only thing I don't know is the arc thing. The code for that. Let me fill it in in my notes here. Okay, can we go this way? What's this? Nope. Uh, it's going to be too... I'm going to have to go this way. Just because it's easier. And then work our way back around. I missed, missed some clues. Somewhere to get that arc thing. I really wish I had some rope. Because then I could just put it down here. See, I don't know what those two things opened up. So perhaps some of the passages were blocked and we opened them. Let's get a save right here. Get some sleep. Get some supplies. Oh, I got to... It's done for that. Oh, okay.
And then this is a different area. All right, the only other space then is the to go up at that branching path. It stinks I don't have shotguns anymore, right? Yeah, because I'm out of supplies. that little dinosaur thing up. Dive right through him. There's not too many more of those. All right, what's down here? I'm looking for another safe spot or something. This is a long path. Oof. Okay. Lodging? What is this? I've never been here. Alright, this is a new area. on a mountain. Got some trees down. We're in some high grass. Wait, where's this go? Okay, I guess I came from up. heck are we? Oh, okay, if we keep going, I see a safe spot up there. Oh, can we get in here? What is this? Nope. These are all closed off. How do we get up? Crap, one of these things. Oh, there we go. Offline. Oh, man. So I need to... I gotta find something to turn this on. I need a... Uh like a switch or something, a fuse. Shoot it down. Fuse required. I don't have one. Uh, what is this nonsense?
Oh, oh, one of these puzzles. It's giving me all the wrong pieces so you get hurt every time you don't you don't get it come on there we go These are giving me the worst pieces. Can I survive? Oh, I better get healed. Shoot. There you go. Come on. Uh, this game, well, 2022, this game was released at. But they're kind of bringing it to shows like this year. Here we go. One, I needed one. <laughs> ah. Yes. I was going to say, that's that it? <sighs> we got it. Shut that gate down. Oh, God. Another one? I can't make that jump. Right, there's nothing else up here other than that. Oh, I can climb up these? I didn't even know that. So I think, so this part, no, this is the, this is the cliffs. It comes with a little piece of paper that you can unfold and it says it's the cliffs, like a little map that so this is not the cliffs it's a different area <laughs> i don't know i could try i don't know what that's gonna unlock but i could try it excuse me try it again okay good i got a good one at that time that was an easy one. Again, I don't know what any of this does.
This stupid thing's gonna kill me. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. There's a generator there. Oh, hey. Can we go here? Nope. There's a door there, though. But I would have to unlock one more. There we go. See, I don't have any of these fuses. Come on. So it's like we progress, but I can't get further because I need fuses. Which probably aren't here. I'm not sure where you get fuses from. this thing oh what's that eye up there go away do I have any more health oh this is it this stupid thing is gonna kill me there we go. Good lord. Alright, what's that eye? Can I make it over there? Oh, man. Nope. Not from there. This is where we're gonna die, though. I only have three hits. Those stupid things are back. We made it to the eye. Small shed. <laughs> Whatever that means. How often do you play video games offline? Because I know with having a new baby, it has to be hard to be able to have time to play games. Um, sometimes I, I'll play it for an hour. Uh, my wife tends to go to bed pretty early. So the last few nights she went to bed at like 10 o'clock. So I was like, well, I'm going to stay up you know, another hour. So I've been playing God of War. So I played last night and I think the night before. So I got a good two hours in on that. Um, with the baby, though, I'm watching the baby uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. And it's basically, you know, if I could put her down for a nap, I can either play some games or work on a project or try to edit. It's usually hard for her to sit still and allow me to play a game. So it's certainly tough, but... Or again, I've been playing sometimes laying in bed. Oh, what's this? There's a switch, okay. I wish I free one hit, I'm freaking toast. This is not cool. Ah, freaking stuck on the ladder and didn't want to be on the ladder. <laughs> Over and out. Uh, and we're all the way, all the way back here. How crappy is that? There was a save area up there, but we couldn't get into it because I didn't have fuses. I don't know where you get fuses from. Come on. 
Take that. Stupid whatever the thing is. See, maybe we'll go this way. Maybe this way we need to go. Crap. Well, we can't go this way because. Well, it depends how many there are. Let's see. I can. I can use my Uzi on this guy. There's no more. Oh, what we got? Rope? I think that was rope. Fuse required, of course, for this. I need more fuses. Oh, I'm not going to get past this guy. Not without a shotgun or... The Uzi would take too long for this. This part, I don't think there was any reason to use ropes. Come on. <laughs> I wish the, the stock gun was a little bit better. where we got before yet I can't get into anything unless there was a different path I could have taken just keep it running Oh, you could hang on those, okay. Can I get in the in this building then? Like through here? What's this? No. Oh, I could have just climbed like that. going on no fuses lying around <laughs> it's like otherwise 
How do you get in these doors? I was say maybe all the stuff I um I did up on the thing unlock those doors, but I doubt it. Oh, okay, let's. That's where we went before. Fuse required, none. I'll have to try to look up where to get fuses. puzzles. Turkins, this game looks cool. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's a new one for the NES. I mean, it came out last year. Full quiet. Definitely unique, for sure. Oh, God. Let's see. Where am I going to go? I need straight ones. Come on. Come on! These are worse than the puzzles in Bioshock. How's that not it? Oh god. Oh god. That should have been it. Can, where we, we can go. We need rope. I don't have the rope anymore. I found it on that one. And then we can circle all the way back around to put that one rope there. I don't know where to get fuses. We need those. If I got um, shotgun bullets, then I'd be able to get a little further in that other part. Oh, is that a fuse? Fuse, that's a fuse. We should go back and save it. Like, so how, I got to farm for fuses then from that thing? I need like three of them. Oh, I'm not going the right way. about the random drops, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so you could put a fuse in there. So we're going to have to try to... And it only stays for a bit, so now I can get... Right? Shotgun stuff, or no? Okay, I have the shotguns. So now we know those things drop fuses. So I guess you could farm for them. And I should be able to get a little further in that other area. dive right through the people, so that's pretty good. If you don't want to stay and fight them. Shotgun ready. Nice, there's rope. So here's fuse required. Oh, I used it because I wanted to get the shotgun. <laughs> Another one. Good God. They're really bringing them on here. Tower. Okay, this is a new area. Oh, and a fuse. So we can go do that. Yep, because I can't get over this. They probably left it there on, on purpose. So like, all right, you got to go back and do the panel. Hopefully that thing doesn't come back. All right, they're done. Use the fuse. Oh, God, one of these. these there we go ah it's always like wrong piece wrong piece wrong piece <laughs> let's try it again that opens i don't know maybe this thing down here so let's go here maybe it dropped it at the tower or it's somewhere completely different nope it did okay perfect please be a save point somewhere let's see it doesn't show on the map so out of them. Can I go in here? No. I can climb, okay. Climb in the tower. Can I not? Oh, I was going to say, can I not go anymore? <laughs> God! Oh god, nope. Oh. I don't 
think I can go any higher. I'm probably missing something. Oh, shoot. I took a spill. Great. What's this way? Oh god, one of these. I just jump like that. Okay. Another one. Forest. Oh, we're <laughs> going through all sorts of stuff. I'm just looking for another save. Where's that? Can I get hit there? It's on the other side of the fence. Okay. Oh, God. One of these. Come on. This is save that way. So maybe if I keep going straight... Yes. Be a slim chance I make it. What is this thing? Slim chance that we didn't make it. That's it. We're dead. Done with it. Game pain. What's going on, Russ? We should do a double live stream outside using my projector. It'd be pretty epic. Big old Nintendo on a projector screen. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. We we're playing Full Quiet on NES. I'll probably just end up maybe playing this more offline unless you guys really enjoy me playing it. This is a new NES game. We made it a little bit further. We got some places where we can go, and we just need to get some more supplies and stuff. So we'll see. Full Quiet, definitely check it out. Eventually, I think it's going to be on Steam, so you can get it a little bit cheaper. But if you like NES games definitely check this one out quick shout out to my patreons down below we got dan and nicole's treasures untold joe Sheevy, trace living good samantha chang rodney taurus and retroholic 16 thanks so much for supporting the live streams we got Tur turkets in there game pain monterese is in the house game junction was here the last line uh who else was here mike was here watching alex tony who else is here adam's game room um, we got a new podcast coming out this Saturday of the weekly Warp Pipe. We're going to be talking Sega Genesis versus Super Nintendo. So be sure to check that one out. And as always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman. Keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.